Today we're at the ad, county this courthouse. Ad lib this. Okay. We are at the Santa Monica Courthouse West District, 725 Main Street, on October 19th, 2012, discussing the case Duval versus Williams, a divorce matter involving my two kids, Jazz and Maya Duval. The sitting judicial officer is Commissioner David J. Cowan, a homosexual making rulings in a normal, balanced family, albeit dysfunctional, but a man who is not fit to make a decision regarding a man and a woman and their children. Questions? Did you ever think you'd be resolving your ex's issues before a gay commissioner in family court? Never. Never. Didn't even know I was going to have a commissioner, let alone a gay one, who obviously within two months, eight weeks of, of listening to testimony, you could tell something was radically wrong, that a man was a couple tomatoes shy of a thick sauce trying to make, he was trying to make sense of something he has no idea what transpires in. If you, you cannot teach what you don't have, and there's not a homosexual in this world who has a normal balanced family within them. They don't fit the bill. And this case proves it undoubtedly that this man is not fit to serve in family court. How come you weren't able to get rid of him? Uh, Commissioner David J. Callan denied my requests to have him recused, forced me to the appellate court uh, where I did lose his recusal. And uh, it's arguable that just the mere fact that a judicial officer is fighting a party's dismissal request, that he's biased. Just the mere fact that he's fighting to stay on a case denotes some level of partiality. What would he care if he just handed it to someone else? He shouldn't, period. Do you think your picketing for 18 months in front of his court had influence to negatively affect your outcome? I think my picketing out in front of this courthouse for 18 straight months did have an effect. What were on? What was written on those signs that you were picketing? Uh, it said David J. Cowan. Uh, the uh, straight family values. Yes. Wait. Wait. It was. Commissioner David J. Cowan, Family Values for Straight America. Family values are different for straight America. And the other sign was uh, Lawyer Amy L. Neiman. Do, do you condone pedophilia? Both of them asked questions and made blanket statements regarding the issues that were surrounding my case. The molestation of my daughter, the abuse of my son, and a homosexual making rulings on, in a zone that he is not even near fit to make decisions in. So the video that was submitted to the El Segundo Police Department of your daughter describing visually and verbally the molestation that took place with the then boyfriend of your ex-wife uh, didn't fit the profile according to the El Segundo Police Department of a pedophile and that's why there was no investigation. Correct. That's correct. That's correct. And the, the, coincidentally, your ex-wife's attorney comes from El Segundo, so there might be cause for concern that there is really molestation continuing, and that her lawyer was able to shut down any any legitimate investigation, which never took place. Absolutely. Uh, the lawyer that my ex has did practice in El Segundo for twenty some years. For right? a long time, his office was based out of there. He worked right next door to my ex when she was employed down there. Something is really fishy in this department. So we have the investigation was shelved, as you asked. It was shelved by the El Segundo Police Department because this man, Marcus Andrew Besh, supposedly didn't fit a profile. So we have a gay commissioner deciding whether a pedophile is more pertinent to raise your children versus the biological father. Uh, an accused pedophile, an, an uninvestigated pedophile, and we have a, a gay commissioner who might be out hunting little children himself at, in the evenings, to, making decisions in straight family court about pedophilia, possible pedophilia, and who's better to, to raise your children, a possible pedophile 
or yourself, the biological father who's done anything and everything with his children when he had custody, joint custody. That, that's correct. You could look at it so many different ways. Is I, I actually take it down to this level that a man was looking at a man who wanted to raise his children and actually loved the fact that he was placing these children in harm's way because of his own unresolved, deep-seated issues. That, that's really how I digest this, that he got joy out of taking children away from a caring, loving father, a real man, just so that he could be, bear witness to two children being uh, abused. It, it's, it's all a father can take. It's all, it's, it's a test of patience that I, it's brutal. It's brutal and I count to 10 a thousand times a day just to discuss this. I don't, my children have been abused. The, the interview of my daughter is beyond telling. It's, it's not a question of did it happen? It's a question of how much longer are these children gonna be placed in a, in a home of harm and not uh, and, a, and a father's rights be taken away, taken away that are supposed to be in place for him to protect his children. Do you think you were discriminated against because you didn't have an attorney as well? You, you couldn't afford proper legal representation throughout oh, your oh, court case? It, it, it's, that, that, was quite, that was quite clear from, that was quite, Rand Corporation is about to blow up.